Welcome back, folks. We appreciate all the new followers joining us on our journey. Today we are covering something we hear about so often we don't even stop to think, hey, what is this, and why take it, and that is glucosamine and chondroitin. According to the National Center on Integrative Health, they are constituents of cartilage, a component of the joints. Glucosamine is a building block for molecules called glycosaminoglycans that are part of the structure of cartilage. Chondroitin is a component of cartilage that plays a role in its resistance to compression. Glucosamine, as either glucosamine sulfate or glucosamine hydrochloride, and chondroitin, as chondroitin sulfate, are sold in the United States as dietary supplements, separately or together. In some other countries, certain preparations are sold as prescription drugs. In a 2017 U.S. survey, chondroitin, with or without glucosamine, was the dietary supplement most commonly used by people age 35 and older who had been diagnosed with osteoarthritis. Many people all over the world take these supplements to help with different types of arthritis. A big seller at Costco here in the U.S. is glucosamine and chondroitin for dogs. One significant study by the University of Australia using a double-blind placebo control was conducted on over 600 patients. The follow-up on all participants was after two years, and all of the participants had osteoarthritis in their knees. The results showed significant improvements for joint space narrowing and less pain in the knees through using the two supplements, chondroitin and glucosamine, as opposed to the placebo group. There is a lot of conflicting data on this topic. As always, check with your medical care professional before taking any supplement because there can be side effects or drug interactions that can occur. If you enjoyed today's content, please like, subscribe, and share our videos. See you next time.